Hey Scorpio family, it's Elle. I hope everybody is doing well and having a fabulous start to their weekend. Before we get started guys, if you'd like to be notified every time I post a new video, hit the subscribe button, like, comment, share, show your love and support. As always, I ask that you keep it positive. Um, if you'd like a personal, that information is going to be in the description box below. How to reach me, how to make a payment. Um, Venmo Cash App, send the payment, then send an email with your questions. Please don't forget the questions for the personal reading. If you'd like to donate, these are free readings as well. That information, my Venmo and Cash App is in the description box below. Any donations are much appreciated and to anybody that did reach out and donate to me, especially the, the tough stuff I had going on last week, um, for my, to me and my little family, we love and appreciate every single one of you so so much and then just anyway Scorpio family we love and appreciate all of you as well so let's go ahead and get into the reading spirit angels ancestors guides please help me provide Scorpio sun moon rising with any messages you would like for them to receive also protect us with your white light of protection with the tarot amen All right, so the cards that I pulled on the table are kind of interesting. We've got the Ten of Cups, Four of Pentacles, the Tower, the Magician, uh, Six of Pentacles, Five of Wands, Eight of Wands, uh, Page of Swords, and then the Three of Swords. So for some of you, um, you kind of have been in this energy or there's the energy I'm picking up of fighting for your Ten of Cups, right? One, fighting for this equal give and take. Um, there is energy here with the Four of Pentacles. Somebody could, again, be very focused with money and this is causing conflict or very focused. Four of Pentacles can also be, excuse me, greedy. So we've got third party over here. All right. So there could be an energy that's indulging in more than one situation. We've got the Tower, the Magician. The magician has an eye, okay, in this card, and this is really literally like right underneath this card. This is an energy of somebody spying, watching. Um, somebody also kind of didn't want to, there's been a tower. It's like there's somebody in the energy of wanting to manipulate a situation somehow here and bring equal give and take to the table with the five of wands, eight of wands. There's been some conflict here, maybe possibly within communication or there's going to be comp communication, excuse me. See retrograde has been doing a number on my speech communication after this five of wands energy moving into Aquarius season. Um, I didn't even mean to say that <laughs> moving I guess because I was looking at the Three of Swords, maybe somebody, there's a third party that's an Aquarius or you're dealing with an Aquarius. Um, Cause I just, that slipped out of my mouth. Uh, Three of Swords energy though, Scorpio. So there's definitely been conflict here going on. Um, and there could be possibly communication coming in from somebody that's trying to manipulate a situation here that is possibly was a third party. Now a third party doesn't necessarily have to be a third party as in the lover, somebody's cheating. It could be just some type of interfering energy. It could be a friend, who knows? But there is, it does look like there's competition or competing energy here and somebody kind of rushing in or rushing in with some type of communication uh, that feels like it's like to hurt you. Because with this 10 of cups, we've got the energy of the six of pentacles, the 10 of cups, equal give and take. This is your 10 of cups, happy, loving family, supportive family, whatever this is energy there's somebody's greedy somebody's greedy we've got the four of pentacles so we're gonna figure out what's going on i feel like it's the person person that's trying to interfere here scorpio all right spirit angels ancestors guys what messages do we have for my lovely scorpios what messages do we have for my lovely scorpios So we're gonna pull a spread and then we're gonna pull some Oracle cards too. And then we'll get into how your partner feels about you, thoughts, emotions, and actions or person. Um, how they feel about you, thoughts, emotions, actions, and I like seeing that. That was the Ace of Pentacles, Scorpio. Some of you, whoo, you're gonna be so blessed in 2023. I'm excited for you. All right. 
what messages do we have for Scorpio? And this is also kind of why if this, if their blessing is coming in Scorpio, you know, it's funny sometimes though, if there are situations where you're having to disconnect or having to leave a romantic situation or whatever it might be for you, right? Um, you're setting yourself up for something more successful basically with that energy, right? So in life, just in general. All right. Somebody's getting really distracted. I'm having to breathe because I'm like, my thoughts, as soon as I started this reading, like they were fine. And then I'm like going back and, and I, my head normally doesn't feel like that. It could be retrograde, but I don't feel like that. I feel like it's somebody's energy that I'm picking up on. There's a lot of like, because retrograde does fuck with a lot of energy with people, but this feels different. It has to do with love here. Here's the Ace of Cups. So somebody could be distracted here by a situation involving heart, your heart space. All right, yeah. That was really hard. Here's the lovers. All right, let's get some messages out for Scorpio. I'm just trying to keep my energy as <laughs> calm and peaceful and possible. Okay. I kind of get the vibe of somebody interfering with a situation that really has no business interfering with it. Like this person is like taking some level of friendship confirmation. Did you hear that? Um, level of friendship or something and like using this to like take advantage or control someone. I don't know what this is. I don't know if it's somebody in your life, Scorpio, or your person's life, but there is somebody like that around one or one of you. Okay. Um, This will be revealed, whatever it is. Here's the moon card. Um, so the heart of swords here, this is putting up with nothing, right? This is a very clever, smart energy. This energy brings justice, okay? We do have the 10 of cups and then the temperance card right after that. So I do feel like whatever this is, you're kind of moving and this energy of fearless energy. I'm going after what I want. I believe the divine is protecting me and whatever it is that I'm going after here in this situation. So there's a lot of faith behind this energy. Um, forward movement, uh, three of cups, three of pentacles celebrating. There could be um, a community that you're celebrating with or will be um, or working with. For some of you, there's forward movement moving into some type of a um have, there's going to be forward movement with some type of an opportunity work-wise, money-wise that is going to really put you in the energy of socializing or getting out and, and celebrating. I don't know if you haven't been is what I'm kind of getting with whatever this new energy is coming through. So I'm really having to breathe. Y'all give me a second. Somebody feels exhausted like exhausted about decisions, exhausted about just life period. Um, I'm really trying to breathe through it. That could also be what's really distracting you is that like there's been so much on your mind or so much on your plate, so much going on here with these energies that like you kind of stay in this energy. Like I've got to be one step ahead of everybody. I, I can't it's like, I'm not willing to wear my heart out on my sleeve right now. We're not in the queen of cups energy. We're in the queen of swords energy, Scorpio, male or female, right? Um, it also kind of tells me with the 10 of cups in this energy, um, what's interesting, whatever it is that you are recognizing as your 10 of cups moving forward, if you're looking for your 10 of cups, whatever this might be, Scorpio, I feel like this is the energy of you are willing to speak your mind, speak your truth, even if it's fighting for what, for this here. And the, and the good news behind that Scorpio is that spirit has your back with the temperance energy. This possibly could be a connection that is divinely protected. That is a thing, right? So, um, I do feel like more Scorpio, your energy is very protected. You're very loved by the divine, whoever I'm picking up on. 
you've been through a lot. This reminds me of my medicine card, right? Where the, the uh, Black Panther in that deck represents somebody that has been through a tremendous amount of pain or uh, the animal in that story has been through a tremendous amount of pain, right? But is still wide-eyed, awake, in the dark, you know, um, not knowing what's ahead of them, but doing it fierce, fearlessly, right? So not know, not seeing who's coming, um, not seeing what's coming, um, but watching, right? So it feels really protective. Honestly, if you want my honest opinion, you could feel really protective over, this could be family, like your family energy. Okay. And this is divine saying also you, you as a whole here with this 10 of cups energy are all protected. I do get this energy of like, I will fuck you up. <laughs> fuck with my kid. Fuck with my boo. Right? <laughs> whatever. I, I'm being corny, but like your partner, whatever it is, Scorpio here, I do feel like it's like that. I'll cut a bitch shit. Right. Not really, really, but not really, right? The energy of Scorpio, um, I will protect what's mine or I'll protect this. Um, we do have forward, forward movement here. Um, for some of you, again, this could be forward movement in a situation here. You're gonna be celebrating here, possibly um, within the next couple of days, right? For New Year's, a lot of you will be. But here's this energy forward movement, getting out and celebrating here. Uh, there is an element here of teamwork showing up. So I'm really interested in seeing what this is about. Um, I'm getting the vibe, honestly, that it, it feels like Scorpio. Um, it kind of feels like to me, um, it symbolizes teamwork, obviously. Um, but I feel like it's like celebrating for there could be forward movement and an energy here where you're celebrating working together. It could be as a family unit. If you've been having um, problems at home, right? There is this energy of spirit saying, look, there's forward movement here. It might not feel like it, right? Like who the fuck has ever seen a flying two headed horse? No one, right? <laughs> I mean, no one. So it kind of feels like with this message, you know, Scorpio, there's forward movement, movement in a direction that you thought might be impossible. There's forward movement in a direction here for you with family, lovers, friends, whatever community energy here that um, is rare, I feel like, or... I don't know why. I mean, I just heard rare and I'm trying to make a sense of why that makes sense. The chariot with the three of cups. So the two headed horse is rare, right? With the wings, but there's forward movement here for you moving into this energy with the three of cups, celebrating energy. For some of you, you feel like that might be what you feel like is rare. Why well, I'm hearing rare. <laughs> Somebody likes to eat steak, rare. I don't know who you are, but I just heard the word steak too. Are you hungry, sir, ma'am? Are you watching me hungry? Anyway, so. <laughs> oh, don't eat it too raw now. That shit might make you crazy. <laughs> oh God, Scorpio. Ugh. What other messages do we have in regards to this reading? So with the chariot, we've got forward movement though, but whatever's going on, maybe you felt like it was impossible for it to move forward in this direction, but there's a group, it could be a family dynamic. Like I was saying, working together, moving forward in this energy of abundance and celebrating life. All right, what other messages do we have for Scorpio? Here's the lovers. And for some of you, this is a love situation, right? Or a romantic situation with the lovers card coming out. Um, all right, let me move these up. All right, let's do two more cards. We've got the lovers. I love this, this, uh, the way the lovers are depicted in this card with the two eagles. Look, there's a heart in between their beaks. 
in their chest. I love it. Scorpio could be, you could be dealing with another Scorpio or somebody with Scorpio highlight, highly aspected in their chart. Eagles always remind me of Scorpios, but Scorpio, let's see what else is going on with this love scenario situation. Here it is. Okay. So here's this energy of possibly for some of you too, moving into 2023, the energy of working together. Okay. This is what the forward movement could be. This is why you could feel very protective over a situation. There's teamwork going on, but maybe spirit is saying, look, you don't have to guard it. Like <laughs> you're going to cut a bitch, right? I do feel like there's this energy of Scorpio that, you know, whoever this message is resonating with, uh, there's teamwork here with the three of pentacles. So there's more than one person willing to make whatever this situation is work. Okay. Or wanting to, wanting to try. I don't know why I'm picking up a lot about children, but I am. So you could be going through a hard time with children. And this is energy with a 10 of cups, whether it's like the whole family, husband, wife, children, all working together here to get help in a situation or just mother, daughter, son, father, daughter, so whatever it is, there's teamwork basically. Um, that's also helping a situation that has some influence with children as well. Let's see, that's way too many. These cards are sticking together, y'all, I'm sorry. Um, is watching i just saw the spirit of swords which is the uh knight of swords in this deck so the naked heart people are vulnerable okay people are vulnerable right now here's the lovers this is a mutual bond attraction with the strength card not only is there a mutual attraction desire here there's an extremely strong bond that is making some emotions here feel really, really heavy or just really, um, with a naked heart, somebody feeling, you know, really okay with feeling vulnerable, like letting somebody's guard down, letting this connection be is what it feels like. There's movement in a, a, in a positive direction. So again, if you've had challenges, it looks like you're going to be moving in a positive direction with that. Let's see. And if it's not a romantic partnership, like I was saying, it could be front, like a child or whatever, wherever there's a connection um, involving feelings, caring. Somebody, there's a five of swords energy here. I don't know why I just got like a shark. I mean, not like a shark, but there is obviously a shark in this deck on this car, but like I'm getting like the inner, the vibe of like, I just saw somebody that, you know, plays dirty or like a shark will fuck you up. Right. So there could be, that could be who watching you, like there could be a competitive element for whatever, whoever I'm talking to that, um, this conflict, whoever this, whoever this is, I don't like that energy. This person causes conflict with the intent to really do some damage. Four of swords. Wow. I just had like a really eerie feeling and then that never happens. Four of swords energy. Um, see how the cat looks like it's resting obviously or sleeping whoever's been causing this conflict scorpio is going to be resting however that's what i just heard so i don't know how spirit meant that like if they're going to be forced to sit the fuck down and stop or like resting like resting forever wow because we've got innocent energy here involved in a situation children possibly and then look the tower because we've got the page of wands and then the tower. This can represent children. There's an ending here. Something's ending that's been causing you an extreme amount of anxiety. Okay. Um, or has. Messages coming in. Maybe the tower had something to do with your children. 
or child. But I feel like whatever this Five of Pentacles energy is, is about to pay. I don't feel like this is your tower. I feel like this is a tower surrounding the situation. Yeah, because look, I just flipped it open right to the death card. Right to the death card, Scorpio. Wow. All right, what other messages do we have for Scorpio? I kind of feel like I want to call pull a card on that. Let me put this deck down and get a different deck. What other message do we have for Scorpio in regards to what the energy that I'm picking up right now for Scorpio? Ace of Pentacles again. The universe. Somebody, okay, going back to the beginning of the reading, here's this Queen of Swords energy again. New path. Okay, we've got the Ace of Pentacles. Divine blessings. This Queen of Swords energy. I'm not putting up with anything that I know that I don't deserve or want in my life. Then we've got the world bringing a positive completion and success into the future with a ace of pentacles so whatever you're completing the cycle wise moving forward this is going to be extremely positive which has been coming out financially for you guys in every single reading lately like i kid you not um i mean watch them we keep you know because you've been oppressed for so long spirit is saying no more now for some of you if that crazy energy wow whew. all right so if somebody's been really oppressed the energy that's oppressing you might pass away or has had a lot to do with some level of oppression. Then we have a couple here and it could be a couple. It could be a man, a husband and wife. We've got the father of St King of Stone. Oh no, this is, um, a daughter this is a child I thought that was a queen for a second there's clarity here in regards to a situation with a, a, a father a male a man and a young woman somebody's gaining clarity this could be you a mother empress energy There's a lot going on emotionally here too with whatever this energy is. You've really, really tried, you've been trying to hold it together here. Or you are. The some level of clarity too is also what is actually keep, the glue that's all, keeping you okay and together at the moment. Yeah, cause look here. Looky here. Look who fucking showed up, right? The devil. It's hot in hell. I need some water, bitch, right? I'm coming to see Scorpio, my fucking water angel, water goddess, whatever. Y'all, I'm being a dork. Okay, but the devil is here. The devil fucking showed up, right? Here I am. I want my power. I'm going to make you feel anxious. The number 99 could be significant. Uh, hold on. Hold that thought, Scorpio. Let me stand up for a second and grab something. Ouch. My foot is also falling asleep. Okay. You know I had to pull it out and do it. So here we go. Mm, excuse me. The uh, number 99 is a reminder that the universe is encouraging and guiding you to manifest your highest purpose, aligning with the divine plan of your soul's mission. Wow. Okay. So for some of you, 
let's put this in perspective a little bit better. There's somebody that's been causing a level of oppression because of your purpose, your life purpose, okay? Whether it's in the element of spiritual warfare, this person is possessed by something they know nothing about or are aware of, or this is an energy here that's been well aware of who you are because we've got the Empress here as well. Still wanting power, still being cruel and wanting, here's the devil here, that energy of like winning at all costs, 10 of, ten of uh, wands, oppressive energy. What other messages do we have for Scorpio? Mind, body, and soul, four of wands. Okay, this is creating a space built on, filled with perfection and harmony, right? I was going to say harmony, but the bottom says perfection. So I went ahead and say it, but said it, but, um, it's more of like a balanced energy for me, mind, body, and soul harmony. I can also represent soulmates, twin flames, marriage, just the energy of happy home life, right? Home within bo your body, home within your home. Okay. Then we've got knowledge here and peace, having a happy life, knowing how to get this peace here, having the knowledge and utilizing it. Scorpio is the energy that's also coming out on the table. So whatever, for some of you, you fought a fucking hardcore demon off or you have been, you've been fighting like a serious demon. There's an energy of somebody that's suffered some type like or level of rejection, whether it's in their life with the four of cups here, the princess of wands currently or happened recently. I don't feel like this has anything to do with you. I feel like this is this person's personal issues. This is also somebody that can be very promiscuous. All right. So there's also, there's just like a level of, for some of you, there was somebody that you could even possibly reject it because they were really promiscuous or this person has it in their head that somehow whatever rejection they've experienced in your life is somehow their fault. But I feel like those two came out on purpose because it's like, yes, this person might have been rejected, but it's, it's saying this person was promiscuous. So whatever happened here, this person was a straight up hoe, basically. Um, but kind of might have the, or it just kind of feels like, you know, somebody's like, oh, I didn't do that. I didn't say that. Or I'm not, you know what I mean? Uh, somebody that three of cups, ace of wands, somebody drinks a lot and is having a lot of sex. Okay. Um, that's not you. I don't know why, but I feel like I mean, does this person have a fucking job or was their full-time job fucking with you? Cause this energy is way too intense to be all up in your life for no reason. I don't know. Maybe the message is Scorpio that you just need to know that something's going to happen here. That's definitely ending it. Um, yeah. Trust in divine timing right now. What other messages do we have for Scorpio in regards to this? For some of you, there could be some really promiscuous woman here that's been had some type of involvement. If Father of Stones, King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, older masculine energy that has a daughter. Or... Hold that thought. There's a lot of doubt in a feminine's energy right now. All right. But in regards to whatever I might be talking about. For some of you, you might feel or they might have felt like there could have been you're gaining clarity on a situation involving a masculine energy with a younger. Whether it's a child or just a younger energy around this person. We've got a feminine energy having a whole lot of doubts right now. Divine feminine. 
but you have messages of communication coming in. What else? Something that you've been avoiding here. This has come out a lot for you guys lately too. Something that's happened or happened during the summer, okay? And then we've got Scorpio energy, memories, thinking about the past, and then celebrating here. This Three of Cups energy again. So for some of you, that's just kind of seeing you and the energy of, well, whatever's going on here, moving forward. Um, some of you might have just decided, okay, there's happy memories here. There's been growth or might, maybe you've just decided, look, I'm just going to avoid something at this time. There's a lot of doubts in someone's mind. There's a lot of doubts in someone's mind about communication and an offer. And I feel like it's because of whatever this meddling energy is over here or somebody that's really been all up in somebody's shit causing conflict, maybe trying to keep, keep you, um, make you have doubts, you know? Yeah, assistance from spirit guides right now. So your spirit guides are, are, are going to give a, you a helping hand here. I don't know how, right? But uh, they are. Because this has put, put you in this energy like this. And this isn't who you are. This cold and detached energy. Whoever I'm speaking to, this isn't you. You're distancing yourself from people. There's a distance you've created and it feels like this, okay? Um, mm. Y'all don't shoot me, I'm just the messenger. Um, what messages do we have for Scorpio in regards to spirit guides? Going up and handing, giving assistance. Okay, so the message I was going to let you guys know or talk about recently, I, um, you know, I know my dad is probably one of my angels for sure. He's made himself known in certain ways to me, which is interesting. I don't know if anybody else has ever experienced this, but I um, was driving down. <laughs> the road one day and I don't I don't think it was summer I don't think it was a season that anybody could have should have been naked but this man that looked just like my dad in the sedan I'll never I think it was a gold Camry or something I don't know and um no shirt on looked completely butt naked but it looked like my dad and I was like wow that is crazy and but then I heard somebody else say something about uh I don't know what I was watching or who I was talking to about, you know, um, seeing angels and passed on loved ones and seeing one actually like in a car, the same exact way somebody described it, like that person being naked too. And I was like, what? That's too crazy. But I experienced the same thing. So I felt like it was a sign from spirit, like your dad is watching over, right? I can feel it and sense it, but that was a visual thing. Last week, spirit guides, ancestors, assistants, you know, your guardian angels. I, I do feel like I talked about this man before, um, an ex of mine that passed away. Uh, we had a very intense bond or connection. Unfortunately, I was young and crazy and, you know, um, I got away from some things that I needed to, but that person never did. And they never made it out of that lifestyle alive. And it's really sad, but I know, um, this person watches over me. They did in real life. And I feel like they're doing it in the spirit world. I, um, what, what happened? We were living with someone, we had a roommate and his roommate took my car or my roommate, our roommate, took my car that my boyfriend um, had bought us and uh, for me and um, wrecked it. Like the guy, I don't know if he was on something or what happened. He passed out and smashed into something, wrecked the whole front right side, right? Or yeah, right side. So I didn't see it until like I was at the gas station when I got in my car because I didn't go look at the other side. It was in a parking lot and it was early, but 
you know, by the time I got to see the car, my jaw just dropped. I couldn't believe it. I was like, this is insane. How do you park somebody's car or take it and then park it back and don't tell them shit? Like when you do that, like we're not gonna notice. It was crazy. So needless to say, we didn't have that roommate much longer. Um, and my ex that has passed away now, um, which at the time I didn't really know <laughs> what was happening. He had grabbed, like he was at work. He was like, come, come get me. I got him. And he had put, he had, it wasn't a baseball bat. It was like a fucking wooden table, like ripped apart a table. He was so mad. Had a wooden table leg behind him. I didn't know it. Walk up to the door. He was like, oh, it's, it's okay. We're going to talk to him. Walk to the door. <clears throat> Excuse me. And as soon as the door opens, he starts running after and whooping this motherfucker's ass with a goddamn table leg. I'm like, oh my God, you know, like, I, I can't believe what I'm seeing. I'm just standing there frozen, right? But, you know, he was like, yeah, you know, pissed, pissed about it. But, you know, um, always had my back, right? Uh, looking back at it, it was a pretty crazy relationship. I did a lot of crazy things when I was younger but there was a, a strong connection and there was a very protective connection um, or he felt protective, I think, over me. I don't, and it's just the type of person you wouldn't want to mess with anyway, but <clears throat> hold on. There's a point to this story. So last week I was driving through downtown where I live and this car was sitting like in a parking lot like it was gonna come it wasn't like there was plenty of enough room for it to go but he was sitting there and I drive by and I shit you not it looks like um exactly like the ex that I'm talking about that passed away but maybe like he's aged right he had gray hair and a gray beard goatee longer hair I don't know he looked it looked the same it looked like this person but only somebody that had aged, right? <clears throat> it was just crazy. So, but I was like, you know what? I needed to see that spirit because I felt his presence protecting me or around me before. And it was confirmation like, all right, not only do you have some, some, some angels around you that love you and you've got some angels around you that are very protective over you. Um, and so I feel like Scorpio with this, this is your spirit guides are really coming through. You could see some things like I'm explaining here. We've got communication on the table. So your spirit guides are probably really trying to, um, speak to you or speak, you know, get through to you at this time. Um, and it could be something as simple as that, right? The recognition of a realm that is beyond what we know in this reality confirming it that it's there scorpio soulmate energy with the two of cups what else do we have for scorpio the full card some of you are going to get a new beginning here in love with a soulmate connection a new chance or a chance here um maybe a chance without interference <laughs> Scorpio, whoever this is. Oh my goodness. Ace of Wands with the Spirit of Wands. The D or the V must be really good, Scorpio. Because some of you are really in your feelings about um, like being protective over whatever this connection might be as well. I kind of feel like Spirit is like, all right, simmer down now. Right? I got you. Just calm down. We're here. Somebody will be taken care of in this situation. <sighs> Scorpio, never a dull moment. All right, so let's do your person's thoughts, emotions, and actions towards Scorpio. What is going on here? Thoughts, emotions, and actions for Scorpio. This person 
has been distracted by something, go figure here, right? For some of you, there has literally been a hoe causing some shit, distracting, stepping into some energy this person I feel like this person has no business doing some of the stuff they do like I've said for some people it's a friend overstepping boundaries um for others it's just somebody who doesn't have any boundaries like this is a very promiscuous person but they're also very uh just very toxic right bringing the drama everywhere they go bringing you know maybe this person like thrives on oppressing and competing and something weird here is what I'm picking up Scorpio all right so again this person feels like they uh, they've been a little distracted by something new if it's not a person um it just could be something, right? Something new that they're doing in their life with a mastery over the wild side with the strength card. This person is really thinking about how to possibly um, tame themselves here because then we've also got the energy of unable to commit coming out. This is their thought process. They're trying to have patience and compassion in a situation making progress, um, com staying committed to some type of plan, but looking forward to current energy. This is a bit confusing. Let's see what else is going on. Uh, what else do we have for Scorpio's person's emotions, spirit? A lot just flew out. <sighs> well, somebody's kind of hot-headed a little bit or can be in their feelings here with the Knight of Wands in reverse. Um, There's a new opportunity opportunity here for this person to love, learn to love. So I just heard learn to love. So maybe they've been in situations that are not very, or that are more toxic. Because there's, there's potential to prosper here. They're in their heart space well with this could be something here. I'm learning. I am, I'm curious. I want to know, like, could this be something that if I step into here, is there a potential for it to prosper? Um, because then we've got the Wheel of Fortune, too. Uh, emotionally, this person is just kind of going with the flow for the moment is what it feels like. They feel like their luck is changing all the time. Um, and they're really just trying to go with the flow of things. And now it could be just to like kind of going with the flow and letting some crap go because there's been a lot of interference. Um, all right, actions this person will be taking towards Scorpio. Wow. Wow, Scorpio. Oh my God, look, 10 of cups, communication. Ooh, five of wands and the six of swords. Somebody is not about to be happy about what's going to happen for you. If someone ends up with a New Year's proposal, please drop it in the comments because I feel like somebody might literally be getting proposed to. We've got the four of wands, the ten of cups, the eight of wands. Communicating. This is like moving in together, marriage, whatever, like this, this happy home, happy wife, happy life vibe, right? So with the ten of cups... Um, so if it's not moving in together, it could literally be marriage, right? This is like happy home life, happy, supportive family life. And then the eight of wands, a lot of communicating, a lot of communicating about what, um, this person wants. Like, and it's going to be fast. Maybe it's like, all right, communicating what I want fast. And then boom, 10 of wands, four of wands, marriage is here on the table. So interesting Scorpio. I just heard shotgun wedding. So let's see, like, what does that term mean exactly? I'm curious. <laughs> I feel like an arrowhead right now, but I mean, I just want to make sure hurried. Yeah. Somebody's, somebody could be hurrying because there's a pregnancy as well. This could also be why there's been a lot of um, fighting, but I do feel like, cause it says, an enforced or hurried wedding, especially because the bride is pregnant. Interesting. 
Mm. Somebody's not going to be happy about whatever this level of commitment is offered here on the tail, Scorpio. And there's another energy that might pull some shit like, well, I'm pregnant. <laughs> because this person's being rejected or something. This is psycho. Let's not obsess on it, though, because with the energies that came out, I feel like there's going to be a death to a situation, hopefully not a permanent thing. But this person is going to be forced to rest was the message that I got. All right, five of wands, conflict, you moving to calmer waters here with the six of swords. So whatever action here there for you, this person might be taking might bring a level of conflict to your life. You might be forced to move. You might be forced to move to calmer waters. Whatever this is though, you're letting go or moving away from the unsettled crap to calm energy, to a calm state of living being um this conflict isn't going to be around anymore whatever this is scorpio oh that's a good feeling right i hate it when i have bad readings look there's the death card chariot queen of swords scorpio got the king of pentacles underneath that and the king of wands mm. somebody could be fighting there could be competition here with two kings There's the Queen of Swords. We started the the reading with this card. So I feel like it should only be maybe, it would only be right maybe if we ended on this note too. So this is somebody here, you know, very clever, quick. There's some kind of quick action that you, you started taking at the beginning or you have taken that actually is helping you manifest whatever's going on, right? So... All the resources you need to manifest also with this energy, what you want is there. You need to have a confident power, confident energy, feel confident about it. Um, God. Oh God, this is horrible. All right, y'all. So I'm, I'm going to feel really weird about this message. Like I might even cry. Whoever this sick individual is has hurt animals like sacrificing animals for some type of like magic manipulation trying to control you trying to call control the situation trying to control something here this person may actually indeed be like addicted to manif manifesting with magic like that there's a very dark energy this is um Someone who's very, very unpredictable, very promiscuous. Because I was looking at, they're going to be forced to rest like that cat. Like, I, I don't even want to say it, but I have to. I think somebody killed a cat. I'm going to be real. Because I just got the visualization of that cat when I was looking at the magician. Wow. There's the justice card. Justice is going to be, uh, the truth is going to come out somehow with whatever this energy is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's coming out. Here's the nine of swords. So the justice energy, whoever this person is, Scorpio, whoever I'm talking about in this reading, this is going to come out. There's a lot of anxiety about it coming out. This person didn't cover up their tracks in some way, shape, or form. I don't know. Maybe there's some sitter on camera somewhere.
it's like a community is going to know somehow about something truth and something being revealed this could also be a, like a court justice bringing somebody to justice here or situation where something wasn't fair somebody trying to get away with something here and it's involving a romantic offer we're about a romantic offer seven of swords energy deceptive sneaky somebody tries to cheat or just tries to get away with things is very a schemer scheming energy so if you've had anxiety about this spirit wants you to know it's coming to an end justice is being served okay things are working out behind the scenes let's do some angel tarot really quick somebody it says it's at the top of this card paying consequences whoever was in this this deceptive energy and maybe they realize that there's a lot of sleep they're losing they're getting ready to pay the consequences like pay up five of swords desire to know the acquisition of wisdom Here's the Queen of Pentacles. Provides consolation and compensation. There's an, an energy here of... Um, conflict to take something from someone. Could be money justice again wow makes truths known in court causes innocence to prevail so you know what's interesting i was burning my um protection candle the other day and it got knocked over for a second but it, the flame didn't go out and um it got knocked over onto a pair of glasses sunglasses that i wear and i was like that's interesting because for some reason like i've been like wanting to have I was having a strange urge to pick up the candle and drink it like it was a glass I kept thinking it was a glass and I don't even drink glass I don't I usually drink water out of the bottle so it was even even more weird that I was like feeling drawn to pick up this protection candle and drink it or pick it up you know anyway it, it does end up getting knocked over <laughs> and you know I picked it right back up it was fine it didn't blow out but um my glasses ended up covered with wax right and so i feel like i was like that's that's really interesting right so you know um i felt like you know there's a message that I, the message i got with that was somebody's trying to keep me from seeing something somebody could have been sending me some type of energy work trying to prevent me to see something or seeing me they don't somebody doesn't want you to see things because there's something here which i feel like for whoever this is for it's whatever this energy doesn't want you to see i feel like you already know it and have seen it anyway which is even weirder but you know um justice in a situation will prevail prevail and it looks like there's going to be some type of consolation and compensation in regards to whatever happens here what other messages do we have for Scorpio? The Hermit. Could be involving a Virgo energy. Doesn't necessarily have to be. We have Virgo, Libra, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. With the hermit coming out too, I feel like this is also a message of like helping with spiritual progress right now. Taking this time out, doing some soul searching, thinking, whatever might be going on here. But we have, um, with this brings the fountain of wisdom basically with the world, which is cool that they came out next to each other. But this is also giving success in all ventures moving forward. So it's almost kind of like for some, it just feels like even clear, clearing your name of something could have been a smear campaign or something. I don't know. It's just there's some kind of justice coming out um, that could be involving something like that as well as other situations that have been going on in this reading, Scorpio. It's been a lot, but 
It is a Scorpio reading, right? Oh, we're at an hour already? Wow. Okay. Let's do an oracle really quick and I'm going to end it. I'm going to do a love, just strictly love when I get done. What other message do we have for Scorpio? really disciplining yourself right now um here's this connecting deep with that energy which is basically like hermit mode right in this deck in this oracle card instinct primal instinct connecting deep within this is your primal instinct like having this knowledge within that's the hermit right there's the knowledge of of spirit and god and all of that is within all right so uh, the number 13 could be significant, but this is also something that is like a very primal thing, instinct, Scorpio. Um, I feel like whatever this is, this is going hand in hand with discipline, right? So you're really, some of you are really disciplined here or have been really disciplined with your reaction in a situation. Because some of you wanted to go out and just say, like, I'm going to go get hammered or I'm going to go do this. And that's not what happened. Um, you were really disciplined and went within instead here. I feel like somebody was trying to push you over the, the edge. Yeah, and there's the, the energy of seduction, desire, manipulation showing up. That could have been also, again, what I was talking about before. Um, like not giving trash, the even... <laughs> the acknowledgement that they want from you in a situation. I feel like you're taking the higher ground here. Disciplining yourself, not reacting. Yeah, here's enlightenment. Using the tools that you've learned here in this tarot land community or wherever you're at, right? So what other message do we have? One more. Ex unexpected endings, sudden shifts, and surprise changes. So I do feel like whatever this unexpected ending is, isn't going to be all that bad for you, but there is gonna be an unexpected ending. Hmm. What other messages do we have for Scorpio? high standards, honored and idealistic energy, nobility. So I'm kind of getting the vibe like it's just like a very noble, right? Energy that you've been in very brave, very um determined. It's like you're trying to show or prove to yourself like I can I can I can handle this. I'm strong enough. I can I can discipline myself enough to not do this, not do this, right? Act on this, act on that. Um What other messages do we have for Scorpio in regards to this reading? You've got an apology coming in here, okay? Somebody would like to apologize about something because it's left you feeling super guarded. Okay, that's these two came out together. So we've got an apology because of whatever this energy is. What else? Somebody needing to release, surrender, or purge. This could be energetically. There could be a, this could be forgiving yourself too. Again, we talk about that a lot on this channel. I feel like it's a person's energy though. And then divine intervention detours. This was fated to happen. However it happened, Scorpio was fated to happen. I feel like for some of you, you're, you've been in this guarded energy because of some things that did transpire. Somebody is coming in with an offer. So release the negative energy you feel about this stuff right now or about what's been going on. 
because I do feel like there's been more meddling than not. But there is an apology coming in for something for you in regards to a romantic gesture or person that you've been involved with in the past or currently. Oh, wow. Look, we got the four of wands and then family, home, and commitment. Somebody actually could be expressing truth here about wanting this with you. Then we've got separation and longing. Divine timing. All right, Scorpio, I'm going to end it there. I love you guys. I hope this is helpful. Until next time, lots of love and light. Bye.